Hi and welcome to the Damala Cookery Channel. So today we're going to be making a tandoori chicken kebab stack. So when you go into your local kebab shop and you see that stack of chicken on the vertical rotisserie that's being cooked constantly and then carved off for people's orders, I'm going to show you how to make that chicken kebab stack but without the need for a vertical uh, rotisserie or any of that specialist cooking equipment. In fact, the only things we're going to be using today is standard equipment that most people, if not everybody, has in their own kitchen. From the Dimalat Spice range, we're going to be using the Tandoori Masala Spice Mix. Full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video. So let's start by having a look at those ingredients, what we're going to need for today's recipe. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're going to need for today. So I've got 250 grams of natural yogurt in a large bowl. Just make sure that whichever bowl you use is small enough that it will go into the fridge. We need a tablespoon of tandoori marinade paste. We use Patak, so you can use whatever brand uh, you like. We need a teaspoon of mint sauce. A tablespoon of Damala tandoori masala spice mix. I'm going to be using a quarter of a teaspoon of food colouring, that is optional, red food colouring, completely optional, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. We want the juice of half a lemon. We need two large baking potatoes. I'm using chicken thigh meat, so I've got a kilo and a half of chicken thigh meat. There's a big split in our family between thigh meat and uh, breast, chicken breast meat. My wife especially doesn't like the thigh meat, so um, if we're cooking for her, we have to use breast. If you're going to use um, chicken breast meat, then make sure that the actual fillet is quite flat. So what you might have to do is place the breast fillet between two pieces of greaseproof paper and just use a rolling pin to just flatten it out slightly. We're also going to need a oven, an oven proof dish and a metal skewer. Now one thing you have to make sure of is that when we're going to be placing the metal skewer into the oven vertically like this to create the stack and you have to make sure obviously that the skewer is not too long that it won't actually fit into the oven. So what I've had to do here, I don't know if you can see, but I've actually cut off the end of the skewer because that is the height, the maximum height that I can use in our oven because we have a grill um, element at the top of the oven which restricts the height. So just make sure whichever skewer that you're going to use, once it's placed into the uh, oven proof dish, that it doesn't exceed the height of the oven, so we can slide it in quite easily. So first thing we need to do is to make our tandoori marinade. So we've got the tablespoon of Damala tandoori masala spice mix and quarter of a teaspoon of red food colouring. As I said, that's optional. So we place that in. We've got the tablespoon of uh, tandoori paste and also the teaspoon of mint sauce. That goes in. And then the juice of half a lemon. And just mix that through. So once we've mixed that thoroughly, the next thing we need to do is coat the chicken. And we'll just make sure that every single piece of chicken is coated well. And then the chicken will then sit in the fridge, minimum of two hours, preferably overnight, in order to soak up all of those flavours. So that's the chicken well coated. I'm going to be placing this into the fridge covered with cling film for two hours. We need this for a family get together later today so I'm going to be doing this for uh, marinating it for two hours. It is far better if you can do it overnight. So this will sit in the uh, fridge for two hours and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to make the stack. So this is our chicken. It's been standing in the fridge for two hours. 
tomorrow night. The next thing we need to do is to actually prepare the um, baking potatoes. So with this one, what I'm going to do is just cut a slice off the bottom. Okay, just like that, just so it sits completely flat. This is going to be used as our base for the stack. Don't throw away this piece of potato because we're going to line the actual oven dish with slices of potato to soak up all the juices off the chicken and the tandoori marinade so nothing goes to waste. The next thing we need to do with the potato that we've sliced the bottom of is actually place the skewer through but what we need to do is try and make sure that the skewer is almost perfect, perfectly 90 degrees to the base. And the way to do that, because the skewer is actually going to go through this end or this side, but what we'll do is we'll actually place it through in the opposite direction because it's quite difficult to judge whether we're going through directly at 90 degrees to the base going this way. So we place it flat onto a work surface or onto the chopping board, place the skewer into the center, and then just with your eye, just to make sure that it's actually going through the potato vertically. Then we turn upside down, find the hole and just place that through. So that way we guarantee that this uh, skewer will actually be completely vertical. If it's not and we start to load the chicken onto here, there is a potential that the stack will actually fall over. So we push the, chick the uh, skewer all the way through and then if it has a sort of circle like this, just make sure that you push it all the way so that it's actually completely flat. And if you can't get it like that, just get the knife and push it in so that we know that this is sat perfectly flat into the uh, baking tray. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually load the skewer with the chicken. So bring that over. That's what we'll do. Place your oven dish in there. Place the um, potato exactly in the center. And then just start to load the chicken. This is quite messy, so I'm gonna be using some disposable gloves. So we take each piece of chicken and then find roughly the center and place that over the top. And then what we want to do, especially with something like thigh meats, because it's not even, we want to stack the chicken as though we go around in a circle so that the actual um, chicken stack itself will be a lot more even. It won't be sort of weighted to one side. So the next one goes there. The same would be true of if you're going to use chicken breast meat as well. So as you can see, we're just stacking it so that the next piece goes round almost in a uh, sort of a clockwise direction until we actually create the stack. So I'll carry on doing this now until it's actually fully loaded. Okay, so that's the chicken stack done. Just get rid of these gloves. So the next thing we need to do is actually place some potato in the bottom. That's what the second um, potato is for because I hate wasting anything and we need a lot of juices, a lot of that tandoori flavor going into the base of the uh, oven dish. And I want to be able to soak those up uh, into the potato and then we can serve the potato as well. So I've washed these potatoes but I'm not going to peel them. So we just want fairly thick slices. Okay, just like that. 
Now the next thing I want to do is to take the residue from this marinade and just coat the actual potato itself. Again, don't like to waste anything. Okay, next thing then is to cook this. So we're going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees centigrade place this into the oven and then we're going to cook it for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 depending on obviously the size of the stack uh, the amount of chicken that you're using so between an hour and 15 and an hour and 30 minutes this stack will be perfectly cooked and then we're going to take it out and we can present it and and obviously carve it so our tandoori chicken kebab stack is now done an hour and 15 minutes it's taken in in the oven as i said before Depending on how much chicken you use, that will obviously dictate the, the cooking time between an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and 30. The potatoes have soaked up all of the juices off the chicken. They're done to perfection. So the next thing we need to do is consider how we're actually going to serve this. Whenever I'm doing a family get together or a barbecue, I like to develop a menu where I'm not sat, sat or stood in the kitchen all night. So we want to serve this, or I want to serve this, so that people actually help themselves. So the way I do that with, with this meal is just move that out of the way. Take a large bowl or a serving dish, whatever you've got. So this is a, a serving dish for pasta. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it's nice and large. And then we get a smaller bowl and actually turn that upside down. And that will sit in the center of the bowl. So the, And what will happen then is I'll put the stack, the the tandoori chicken kebab stack on top of here. And the reason I do that is because it lifts the base off the bottom of the bowl. Because of these high sides on the bowl, it means that when people start to carve the meat, if the, the actual stack was sat in the base of the bowl, it'd be difficult for them to get down and you'll end up with a lot of chicken, uncut, uncut chicken meat around the base. Um, and then obviously the top will just thin out too much. So place the bowl upside down in the in the larger bowl and that will allow the base of the uh, stack to actually sit above the the base of the large bowl so the next thing i want to do is place the stack onto there okay so that sits on top of that bowl and now what i would do which is what i'm going to do later i won't do it now because i'll just waste food but what i'm going to do later is i'm going to I'm going to get a couple of iceberg lettuce. I'm going to shred those, place those into the base, put some chopped um, cucumber in there, maybe some uh, spinach as well. I've got some uh, leaf spinach. I'm going to place that in there. So the idea is that people will cut their own chicken. They'll then use some tongs, get some of the chicken with the uh, salad and place that onto, the, onto their own dish. Now you can use a standard knife something like this or a serrated edge knife but because I'm allowing people to cut their own chicken through experience and not everybody has, has really good uh, knife skills if I let someone use just a, a standard knife what will happen is one person will go through and actually cut lots of chicken off and not direct the, the knife very well so what I like to use is a uh, an electric knife an electric knife is far easier for people to use so I'm just going to dress the top of the actual skewer so people can hold it. And again with all this salad, just imagine all the salad in the base of the bowl. What people will do is they will just carve, carve their own uh, chicken and then place that onto their own dish. So as you can see, we're placing the stack on top of the upturned bowl. It makes it a lot easier for someone to, to cut into. Also going to use the potato, which we placed into the bottom of the uh, oven dish. Cut that up smaller into small cubes and actually decorate the top of the, the salad with that. And then once people have cut down to such an extent, there's hardly any chicken left. 
I can guarantee someone will even eat the uh, the potato which has been used for the base because that has got a lot of, of the flavour from the chicken within it. Tandoori chicken kebab stack, cooked using just standard equipment in the kitchen, real centrepiece for any family get together or a barbecue. You can actually use the same method if you have a horizontal rotisserie on your barbecue because what you'll do is you'll do all of the points up to placing the stack into the oven and then only cook it for about half an hour instead of all the way through and then you can transfer that chicken stack onto the spike and then straight onto your horizontal rotisserie and the reason for doing that is when the chicken's cooking for about half an hour it actually uh, seals it all together so it's a lot easier to use on a horizontal rotisserie Great, as I say, great centerpiece for any family barbecue and really tasty, very popular. We use an electric knife, I know some people don't agree with that, but we use an electric knife when we've got people carving their own meat because not everybody's li uh, knife skills are perfect and this just makes it a lot easier that people just get exactly what they want instead of losing control of a standard knife and cutting right into the stack and spoiling it for everybody else. Please subscribe to the channel and if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. What could be better than uh, tandoori chicken kebab?